Hi YouTubers, um, today I'm going to show you how to change the anode in this Chateau tank here. Um, this is one of these French jobs. Um, they're, they're iron steel press so they, they rust and you've got to replace the anode. They call it a sacrificial anode and that's because it's sacrificed um, when you, it burns itself out. This one hasn't been renewed for a while. There's the the dry gram on the side of Chaffetone, you can see the anode is there, so the anode is that one there. Um, I've shut the water off. On this particular system, the drain off is down there. It's actually a valve, but we pick it up sideways and it will kick the water down through this vent and take it outside that's already been equipped. So I've shut the water down, so I'm gonna drain it now by opening that valve. And when it's drained, I'll show you the next step of getting the thing out. Okay, next bit of the job really, uh, it's starting to drain down, but it's too low, I'm going to see if I can crack it, this is it here, I'll use a pair of Stilsons, if you've got a nice big spanner, probably better, but um, I've always used Stilsons, but a lot of people say yay or nay, but that's my preferred bet, and it's gone easy as you can see, there's not much pulling there, um, so that's cracked it now, now we've just got to wait for the level to drop a little bit lower, because I can hear water gurgling where I've let the air in, can you hear that? It's probably below that level already. There's no water there, so I think we'll shut the drain valve over there now and uh, extract the anode. We'll do that next. Here's our anode. Um, the one that's in that tank has got an inch thread, so I've had to go and get an inch bush to push it out because it's a slightly different size. So we're gonna make this up. I like to make it up with uh, hemp and boss white. It's my preferred favorite, um, but you can Usually, I think if you can't get Emperor Boss White, which I think it's probably rare these days, um, to use PTFE tape around it. Okay, so I'm going to thread this into our, our union first, like so. So, first of all, we're going to make this up. We're going to use our hemp and Boss White to do that. Okay, so we'll just, you can hear the tank drain in there again now. So, we're going to, going to hold your, your threaded rod anode like so and get your hemp round or your tape whatever you're going to be using uh round wound round from this side onwards we need a little bit more there yet so let's uh make it a little bit thicker um, i prefer say hemp but you, you can use ptfe because you probably won't get hemp these days okay so holding your anode okay it's a little bit awkward but just wind your hemp around the thread like so okay Wind it around nice and tightly there. Wind it all the way around. Uh, once you've done that, your boss white on. Wipe your boss white on the way that the thread goes. Okay. Keep winding. Okay. Let it wind like that. Once you've got that on there, you can put your put your bush on. Okay. And thread them in like so. Now. Obviously, you've got to hold against when you're doing this up. So, we want our footprints. Or we plumbers call them footprints, you can call them whatever you like. They're grips. We'll adjust them to three quarter. And uh, we'll hold against with this one. So, if we use the three quarter grip tool, it's a little bit loose. Actually. We'll take it back down the size. Take it to the, the size it was. Okay. And Basically, we get a grip on the on the on the anode itself, and get a spanner. I'll just reach across you there. Sorry about that. And uh, we'll thread uh, bush on to the anode. Okay. So basically, tighten them on like so. So if you get the correct size anode, you won't need the bush to do this. Um, I had to take a guess at this one. Uh, and it just turned out to be an inch one uh, and I've got a three quarter anode so it was just one of those things so bush down this had to be okay screw him in there okay and the same thing again um, say PTFE tape or as I like to use I like to use it's a bit old fashioned probably uh, it's what I've always used and I know it always works so I like to stick with him once again around your thread like so again Wrap it round the bush. Okay. Get it on the thread. Okay, and around the bush, like so. Which is ready. Take some boss white on it. 
So a lot of people prefer PTFE, but that's not my preferred medium. I prefer hemp. And it's just your choice, I guess, you know, what you want what you want to do. Um, but that, that's for me. Um, obviously boss white around that then. And some of our ramps come away a bit there. Use your finger when you're on camera, it never goes as easy as when it's not. Okay, wipe your boss white round. And okay, get him on now. I know with this stuff, it, it never leaks. You see, I just like to use it. So, the reason they call these sacrificial anodes is that this sacrifices itself instead of your tank sacrificing itself and leaking. Uh, the metal going, this thing sacrifices itself and disappears to nothing. So I'm going to take that old rod out now and you should see what condition that's in. So I'll click off while we put this down and get the camera in a different position. Right, we're ready to uh, pull our anode out now. So I've got a loose, so we'll take her out now, see what condition it's in. And you can see that it's not too good. Um, the one I'm putting in is slightly shorter, but no problem. Um, it's still a sacrificial anode, it will still do the job, so we'll stick our new one in. Make sure the thread's clean and the front of the surface of the joint there is clean. Okay, which in our case isn't too bad. Um, and then we're ready to screw it in. It's pretty clean to me, so we'll, we'll stick him in there. And in she goes. And then we'll just tighten up with our grips here. Okay, he's in. Um, that's it now, we'll turn it back on and that should be it for another year. So uh, that's it YouTube, a simple little job. Um, but uh, make sure you can board a bush along in case it is the wrong side. If it is, you know you've got it ready. I had to go to the plumber shop and pick that up, which is a bit of a run. But here we have our old Anno, just to show you the condition of the old one. As you can see, it's uh, very, very bad. So, you know, if you think you don't need to renew these, um, you do, they're, they're quite bad. So, okay, so there we are. Um, so catch you another time, YouTubers. And uh, Derrickton33 for all my videos. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.